Um, I'm Liz Hickey. Um, I've been involved in guiding in New Zealand for a long time. I started back when I was seven as a brownie. As a kid that was growing up in Mount Monganui, it was just a fun thing to do with your friends. And along the way, I developed leadership skills, so you became a sixer in brownies and then a, a patrol leader in guides. And eventually I went on and completed my Queen's Guide. These days, from a career perspective, I qualified as a chartered accountant. I finished my career being a company director. I'm shortly going to retire, but it's been a, an interesting career. Difficult uh, to give you one word. I'm going to give you several. Um, fun, so as a kid, things need to be fun. And then leadership, you know, you develop leadership skills through, through guiding. But I think in doing all of that, you can't just have all the serious type stuff. It's got to be fun, um, and that's the most important thing. It's interesting because I've, off and on, I've continued to have an involvement with guiding. Um, and so I've seen it develop. And the important thing for me is that guiding has refreshed. It stayed up with what the modern girl wants and needs. To a large extent, based on STEM activities, so encouraging girls to have a go at science and technology and engineering and mathematical type things. Building robots, for example. I think that's really great that guiding's keeping up with girls. And I can remember taking my patrol away camping. It was fun to plan this whole three or four days where you were just going away with your patrol, so there were about six of us, and planning what food we were going to have and what activities we were going to do. My first governance experience was with girl guiding, and I had six years on the world board as chairman of the finance committee. I took a phone call from London one night um, from someone whom I knew well, who was effectively headhunting me for a job up in London. It was an international um, organisation that I was going to work for. And what, were the, what was the skill set that I brought to that international job? Well, it was all my technical accounting type stuff. That was fine. But also what gave me the ability to do that job and to head up an international team was the fact that I'd had that experience in guiding. I'd been part of an international organisation. Um, I had had to understand and appreciate different cultures, different ways of thinking. And that meant that when I went to London to do that job um, and in, in the end headed up a team of about 43 people, well the international experience that I'd had in guiding gave me the ability to take on that role later on. Right now in New Zealand there are 700 girls on the Guiding New Zealand waiting list. We'd love to have them in units, but we need some financial resources to do this. Please donate to us this Christmas and help us provide guiding and the fun that I had as a girl to these girls in New Zealand today. Anything that you donate to guiding this Christmas can have twice the impact of your donation. We have a generous group of donors who have agreed to match dollar for dollar the fundraising that we do this Christmas. Why do we need your help? 700 girls are waiting to become a Pippin, Brownie, Guide or Ranger, but there's no unit for them to join. $23.50 is the average cost of one welcome pack, which includes the girls' sashes and workbooks. $50 is what it costs on average for six rangers to receive a leadership badge. $74.95 pays for one first aid kit, to support our girls' safety and welfare. $100 is the cost of a term's worth of equipment for creative crafts and science activities for the girls. $200 helps recruit and train new volunteers, which means more units for girls to join and more girls benefiting from all that guiding offers. $600 is the average amount needed to start up a new unit before we welcome girls covering all the costs of essentials, such as a first aid kit and training new volunteers. You'll be giving girls the chance to make friends, learn skills and discover their potential. You're growing a new generation of strong women.